Temperatures are frigid in the nation's capital. Take a look at what the cold weather did to this outdoor fountain. This is the Smithsonian's National Museum of the American Indian Waterfall. It looks like a crystal display, and the cold weather not going anywhere for the time being. The National Weather Service forecast temperatures won't get higher than the mid-30s this weekend. Which begs the question why you're trying to run a fountain in that weather, right? I don't know. We always wrap our pipes when we think it's going to hit 32. If it's going to hit minus 32, turn off the water. 8 in Minneapolis, 11 in Bismarck, 20 in Chicago. Very cold and wind chills are even colder than that, as you know. So we have rain in the area, but mainly in the Santa Maria area and then points north, just like it was last night. Some showers are developing offshore. We'll see if that makes it here. But if it does, our rainfall chances will still exist into tonight and to tomorrow morning. But I don't think we're going to get what we got this morning, tomorrow morning. So live into Hatchby, it's not cold. 48. Winds are southeast at 9 miles per hour. Temperatures are in the 50s on the valley floor, mid to upper 40s in the mountains. The lake's doing great at 56. Wolford Heights is about the same. Our high today was 60 because of the cloud cover and the rain, and 58 is the average for this time of year. Much cooler in the Southland, 66 to 69 degrees. And here are the totals. This day was the wettest day we've had so far all winter. How about that? 0.28 in the last 24 hours, these totals across the board. Lodgepole did well, almost an inch. Lake Isabella, 0.27. Tahatchapi about half an inch. Fraser Park did well as well with 0.39. So here we are. Today officially 0.27. For the month to date, a half an inch, and that still leaves us below the seasonal average by 1.66. So we need more. There's the low. That's why it's happening. And that continues to pump up the cloud cover and the moisture. So future radar keeps us in the rainfall chance zone. More so Los Angeles tomorrow than here. But by the time we get to the weekend, it should all be over with. All right, here are highs tomorrow. 60 in Fresno, 58 in San Francisco. And sliding south, temperatures look okay too. Cooler, rainfall chances still in play no matter where you are. Which makes for a wet commute over the grapevine. The good news is that the snow level is going to be very high, around 8,000 feet. So don't worry about that. Highs tomorrow right around 60. Southeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Showers continue. And also... Into the mountains, it will not be that cold at night. Temperatures were in the 50s today, and they'll be in the 50s tomorrow. Desert regions also look good. Temperatures in the 50s to 60. Southeast winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Our low tonight around 48. Light showers continue. And around 62 tomorrow, cloudy skies. And for the valley, our rainfall chances are still with us for the weekend. However, they are not as strong, 20 to 30 percent. Highs going into the 50s, though, on Sunday and Monday. You'll feel that. So the snow level... These are the important numbers to note in the seven-day forecast for the Kern River Valley. Starting off high, 8,000 feet, dropping off to around 4,000 feet by Monday. And therefore, highs go into the 40s next week. For the mountains, the snow level trend is the same, but the temperatures will drop to around 40 for highs next week. And the overnight lows will be in the 30s. So we got more rainfall today than on any other day this winter, and I, dist I distinctly remember you asking me last night if I knew the difference between a, a driving rain and a light rain. And you found out today. Yes, but you <laughs> said it was going to be... A light rain. A light rain. I knew the difference because that's not what we had. <laughs> that's exactly right. It was right. a driving rain. It as surprised I stood everybody. Out in it, yes. Which right. has nothing to do with driving in the rain. No. Right? Especially if you're See standing out in the driving rain. Did you wear new shoes today? No. Did you wear proper shoes? No. I Nor did she wash her car. That's rare. Nature did it We've for We've had me. that happen before. Wow. Thank you, Colin. Right. Keep it up for that. Stop. <laughs>